Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at how to create a mood board on your iPad. Now, this could be called a vision board. And to do this today, we're gonna to be using Freeform. Now, Freeform is a free app available for iPads. It's available in the App Store. So go ahead and download it if you haven't done already. This is the home page on the iPad. So of course, we wanna go ahead and open up Freeform. Now, to create a board, we will click on this icon up here. So we now have a clean board. And the easiest way I've found to get images into this board is by going, swipe up from the bottom, make sure that your browser is in the dock at the bottom. And what you wanna do is hold down, drag it over here and do a split screen. So your mood board's over here and your um, browser is over here. So it's very simple. All you need to do is hold down the image and drag it across. So go and select another image. So I wanna select this one, drag it in. And they will actually snap to a grid in freeform. So you can obviously go ahead and resize. Then if you click on that image, you can then crop it if you need to. Done. Let's get a few more images in. And then maybe you want to bring in an image from your camera roll. And that's pretty simple too. So again, scroll up from the bottom of your screen on your iPad, find your photos app and make sure again, it's in the dock, click on it hold it and then just drag it to the side of the screen and that will bring up your photos app side by side with your mood board so then you can go into your photos where you might have something you want to use on your mood board and you can literally just pick it up and then drag it in so let's drag in this one as well and let's drag in this one so we can close that so this is our freeform board and you're not gonna run out of space because your board is pretty much infinite and you can keep zooming out and adding more images as you need. So let's just sort these images out in this board. Just resize that, resize that a little bit more. Okay, another thing you can do is if you wanted to reference something from Pinterest, and I know it would have been a question in the comments below, so I thought I'd go over this. You can't drag out images from Pinterest. So my workaround for that is, and you might have seen this free floating button. So to enable this button here, you need to go to your settings menu. So I'm gonna go back to the home page, click on settings. You need to go down to accessibility, and then you need to go to touch and assistive touch. Make sure that is switched on. And I have the button set to single tap and double tap for screenshot. And you can enable that by scrolling down and ticking this here. So let's come back out, come back to our freeform page. And if we go into Pinterest and say I wanted to reference this image, then all I need to do is hit that button and it's going to capture that image and you can quickly crop it up. and save it to your camera roll. And then to get that into your freeform board, all you'd need to do is again, bring up your photos, find the image you've screenshot, and then just drag that across. And it's as simple as that. I just wanted to show you how you can save this out as a PDF. Also within freeform, there's so much you can do with it. And I'm not gonna go over everything today, but have a play with it. It's, um, it's really powerful and it's very handy for um, photo shoots and sort of preparing for jobs and things. But obviously you can go in and mark up these images. So if there's a particular thing that you want it to highlight, you can use your Apple Pencil. So I'm gonna choose a marker with red and say, I quite like this eye, let's zoom in. I can just highlight that eye. And then if I wanted to put a title on this page, I can then bring this up. Double tap, beauty, mood, board. If I wanted to change the font on that, that's easy. Click on here. I quite like the American typewriter font in bold. Then we can make that a bit bigger. And then once you've completed your image layout, if you just pinch and squeeze until you're happy with the composition on the page. Then come back out to your home screen in Freeform, hold down that icon for that board. You can go share. 
and then you can go export as a PDF or you can print it. So here's our print from that mood board and it's literally as easy as that. So I hope you found today's video useful. Hope you found it interesting. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell if you'd like to be notified of future videos. And hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.